there's actually a Spark SQL console you can look at to see what's happening when data sets are processed. So uh, where you can look at this, if you go into the configuration folder, oh, you don't rename it, you open it, and then you want to do a search for, um, uh, what is it, Flint? Just do a search for Flint, and you'll see this Flint app properties file. You edit this with Notepad++, now, and you, you see this Flint, um, Flint Spark UI disabled. By default, this says true, okay? Which means you cannot access the Spark console that is running under the scenes to process data sets. If you set this to false, and then you restart Cognos, you will have access to the Spark console. Now, the recommendation is like, don't just leave this on all the time. Like, just turn it on if you really need to look at what's going on there and then turn it off um, when you don't need to anymore. That, that's what I would recommend. So if you set this to fal false, you reboot Cognos, um, and then you look at, you go to port 4040 um, on your local host, and here you can see the actual Spark console that is, um, that is, th that the actual, you can look at the Spark jobs that are running your data set. So like this right here, um, you know, you can see what's going on the different data sets, the duration of the Spark jobs, whether or not they succeeded or failed. I'm not really a Spark guy, um, so I can't, you know, I mean, I've, I've messed around in this a little bit. Um, you can see the actual SQL queries related to the data sets, all of that good stuff, right? So like here is that, um, here is when I built, I just built that data set. Remember it was region and retailer and product type and that sort of stuff. Here you can see the actual SQL that was executed the Spark SQL that was executed. So here's another place when you're trying to tune data sets, understand what's going on with them. You really want to dig under the hood. This is where you can go to do it. Now, the, the this is a, you know, use it your own risk thing. Um, I, would, I, I wouldn't leave it on at all times. I would just turn it on when necessary to look at it and then probably turn it off. Uh, but there you go. Um, there's also a place where you can turn on Flint logging if you want to look at, like, start logging this sort of stuff into the Cognos logs. Um, and that would be if you go into, let me pop this guy open. So if you go into the Manage menu um, under Configuration, Diagnostic Logging, if you click Show All, you'll see you have this Flint option. So if you tr click this, it will start uh, creating, you know, putting um, Flint, it'll start creating, adding data set information to the logs. Now, what specific logs um, and, and how does it handle that? I'm not 100% certain, uh, but I know it does it. And so um, I would check that out as well.